This is Alan with InterviewSuccessFormula.com, and I'm here to discuss with you how to prepare for an interview, specifically one thing you must do the night before. And it doesn't matter what company or organization or career you're pursuing. Every job seeker must do this one thing in their preparation. Now, your performance can be impaired so much by not doing this that you'd actually be better off showing up drunk to your interview. The impact can be that big. So let me explain why getting enough sleep is so important to your interview performance. In college, I was a research assistant in a sleep lab. The research team was running an experiment sponsored by NASA, and it wanted to figure out how much sleep an astronaut needed. I was surprised by what we found. See, with every hour in space comes a hefty price tag, which puts sleeping at a premium. So the research team ran multiple groups of participants who received different amounts of sleep. We were trying to pinpoint that exact sleep threshold. My job was to keep the subjects awake and make sure they took their various cognitive tests on time. So what were our results? Well, we found out that even with six and a half hours of sleep, most people demonstrated a performance deficit. They were less able to do simple mathematical tasks and effectively perform other cognitive tests, and they showed much slower reaction time. Further, getting less sleep had an even more dramatic effect. One study found that after being awake for just 19 hours, a person's driving skills decreased the level of someone who just spent an evening in a bar drinking six beers. All right, so now back to our job interview. How does reaction time and cognitive tasks relate to performing well during a job interview? While preparation and practice are critical to a successful interview, in most interviews, you may still find some surprises. These likely will be questions that you weren't expecting. And when you face one of these questions, you have several options. Yes, you can give yourself a little bit more leeway to answer the question with a number of different techniques. This includes pausing, repeating the question back to the interviewer, or asking for a few moments to gather your thoughts. Still, even if you implement all these tactics, you will give yourself at most 30 seconds to come with an answer. And this is where the sleep really makes a difference. Will your reaction time be fast enough and your thinking sharp enough so that you deliver a strong response, or you draw a blank from being tired. Depending on how tired you are, one night of good sleep may actually not be enough to get you back on track and put you in top shape for your interviewer. In the sleep lab, when participants were intentionally shortchanged in sleep for over a week, it could take three days of recovery before they were entirely back on track. So you have to keep a watch on your total sleep for a few days before your interview. Unfortunately, if you're at all like me, Sleeping can sometimes be easier said than done, especially the night before an interview. Stress and anxiety can get in the way of a good night's rest and leave you tossing and turning. Therefore, you may need to take action the day or days before your interview in order to reduce that stress. Exercise is probably the best way to do this. In particular, I recommend aerobic exercise such as running, swimming, biking, or hiking. Now, don't hurt yourself, but you may have to do a bit more than a quick jog around the block if you're going to work the stress out of your system. If you don't like exercise, you could also consider going for massage. However you get there, rest up, exercise, and treat your body right so you can be at your physical and mental best on the day of your interview.